stop playing with me what's up again youtube welcome back to another video man if you're new here to the channel scroll here scroll down to the bottom and subscribe to the channel man today in this video man i do got an unboxing that we gotta do but over the time that i have not been recording i actually hit for these um for these air jordan 5 racer blues man so man if y'all hit for these right here man go ahead man leave a like on the video man subscribe to the channel and i will go ahead and um i'm gonna get a uh review up for these for y'all but we are here today is because i actually end up hitting for y'all can see by the title the unc sixes bro so we're gonna go ahead and get into this unboxing man before we get into that make sure y'all scroll out to the bottom y'all leave a like on the video and y'all subscribe to the channel these shoes right here actually did actually ended up hitting on a shock drop actually hit for these shoes on a shock drop um they shock drop these luckily i was on my phone i just ended up i was on my phone watching videos and i just get a notification talking about just dropped i'm like what are those but come to find out it was the unc sixes and i ended up hitting these actually did end up hitting on a shock drop man luckily i was on my phone and they dropped man so as you can see opening the box we do got that unc blue box top you know what i'm saying we got the unc box i don't i'm not i don't remember if the um you know they didn't the threes didn't come in this box the threes actually came with a pop-off top but this one right here folds back so as you can see man we got the baby blue lid going all the way around we got the speckles at the bottom of the box this is a personal size this tab reads air jordan 6 retro university blue white and black so Man, can't wait to get these open, man. This is my first time opening these, so you got the Jordan sign right there in the corner of the box. And we also got our Nike verification and all that type of stuff on, on the box. We also got the UNC blue at the bottom of the box. The spec was on the side and then the UNC on the top of the box. Pulling the lid back, just like the box, they did give us some, some speckle paper. You know what I'm saying? We don't got the plain white, we got speckle paper with these pulling these back <sighs> now this is a nice shoe but man god damn is that some factory flaws right there god damn look like this pair got some factory flaws on the right shoe that's about the only one I see though. Shoes untied, man. Like, what's going on, man? I don't, I don't know if anybody been looking at these or something, but what the hell, man? Tuck that back up in there. Man, besides the factory flaw on the left shoe, man, these are pretty fire, man, but they really look like the Carmines. Can't lie on that. You can see these right here, are the exact replicas of the Carmines. These are nice. These are a nice shoe, you know what I mean? Sixes, they are a little bulky, you know what I mean? So I ended up going a half size down. The joints still look bulky. But these are fire, you know what I'm saying? If you got the UNC threes, the UNC fours, UNC ones, you know what's up. The only reason, the only ones I got is God damn. I got UNC ones and I also got UNC threes. I actually got the UNC ones and the UNC threes. Not lie, I wear my sneakers, so I've been wearing these. I wore these like twice, but haven't busted these out yet. But UNC sixes, man. UNC 4s. I did not hit for no UNC 4s. Usually I only go for retail. So if I didn't hit retail, I'm on to the next shoe. But I, I did end up hitting for the UNC 3s, UNC 1s, and the 6s, man. So go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure y'all leave a comment and let me know if y'all hit for these UNC 6s. Starting off with the outsole of the shoes. You can see we got the all white outsole. We got some ice right there underneath and the baby blue jump man. Going into the midsole of the shoe, we got the ice coming from the bottom of the shoe. We got a white and black midsole. Going into the upper mesh, we do got that UNC blue. We also got that little bit of tumble leather. You know what I'm saying? Well, just a little tumble, but not that much. Going into the toe box, we still got that. We got a nice plush suede right here. This The suede feels pretty soft on the toe box and even on the side panels. We got our standard white shoelaces. We got that UNC diamond right there on the top of the shoe, on top of the shoestring, shoelace holder, and the baby blue tongue. This right here is the tongue that gets me because this tongue really gives me hair six vibe. If you look at the hair sixes, man, the tongue looks just, what the hell? 
As you can see on the hair sixes right here, the tongue is just the same as the UNC sixes. You know what I'm saying? Got the little stripe going on. And then on this pair, they gave us a black sock liner on the inside of the shoe. What is this? I don't know if you can see the, the inside on the midsole, but these are definitely just like the hair sixes. Cause I think even the, see, even the midsole on these joints right here have the same exact striping going on. It's just not, not on the tongue. You know what I'm saying? The back of the tongue, of course. But how the back of the tongue of these look? Not, not, not as much design, but definitely on the midsoles, you can see the stripes. They definitely look like the hair sixes. Going into the back of the shoe, everybody was hating on that back tab. I don't know why people hate on that back tab, but I feel like just like the UNC threes, they probably should have put that tab on the inside of the shoe because the inside of the UNC threes, we got the tab on the inside of the shoes but the Jumpman on the back. So I do feel like they should have put the tab on the inside of the shoe and had the Jordan Jumpman back there and just kept it original. But like I said, man, these right here are still fire. But these are right here, the UNC sixes, man. This is a nice shoe. I did think they look better in person. I already thought on the pictures that the, the tongue would probably be too high because the tongue was just like standing tall in the pictures. But these are nice, man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised I actually hit on the shock drop. So if you hit on the shock drop, leave a like on the video, man. Comment. Let me know if you're going for these on the original drop. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's your boy Skinny Ant checking in. Checking out. Peace.